Hey story readers, it's Warren and I'm back with a new video today. It is the middle of February, there's literally nothing to do right now, it's the dead of winter. I feel so dried up on my YouTube video ideas, I've just had a hard time coming up with ideas that I want to do. I made two videos this weekend and I didn't upload them because I didn't like how they came out, I just felt like they weren't good, but I have found some inspiration. And so today, I'm going to be doing a really cool video called the Bookshelf Scavenger Hunt. Apparently this type of video is very, very old, a lot of people have done it. And and like I said, it's the middle of February, there's nothing else to do. There's like 20 questions on here, so let's go scavenging for some books. Number one is an author's name or title with the letter Z in it. I picked Eliza and Her Monsters by Francesca Zappia. It has a Z in the name Eliza and the author's name is Francesca Zappia. I haven't read this book yet, I really need to get around to reading it. It sounds really cute, it reminds me a lot of some other contemporaries that I like, so I should get around to picking this up soon. Number two is a classic. Well, I have an entire shelf of classics down here on the bottom below the camera. The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde, and this is the Barnes & Noble Flexibound leather cover, and this is also the classic book of the month for my classic reading book club. If, if you're interested in joining the Goodreads group, I'll leave a link in the description below. Number three, a book with a key on the cover. Where would I find that? Well, I'm gonna have to take a pass on this one because I don't think I own a book that has a key on it. Number four, something on your shelf that's not a book. Well, I have tons of little Funko Pops here. This is Snow White from Once Upon a Time. I also have Dumbledore from Harry Potter. This is the original Dumbledore. Let's see, I also have, also have Luna up here. Luna, so we got Luna, Snow White, and uh, Dumbledore, and um, yeah, I should do like a Funko Pop collection, that'd be cute. Number five, the oldest book on your shelf. Definitely Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. This is one of the earliest editions of this book. I've had this since I was like a little kid. This is the 1998 paperback edition of Harry Potter. Number six, a book with an animal on the cover. For this one, I went with Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. It has a crow on the cover here, it's its big wing, and then it's up here at the top is the crow itself. This is also another series I really need to read because I've heard really good things about this one. Number seven, a book with a girl on the cover. Uh, I'll just go with this one. So I went with A Court of Wings and Ruin by Sarah J. Mass. Just because it was right there, I could reach it really easy. And it has Pharaoh on the cover, of course, looking lovely as always. Everyone knows that this is like one of my favorite series. Also, I, I just had to mention it because, you know, Sarah J. Mouse. Number eight, a book with a male protagonist. For this one, I chose The Martian by Andy Weir because, of course, it's one of my favorite space novels and I love the astronaut Mark Watney. He is one of the funniest characters I've ever read about and he's just so smart. He knows what he's doing and he's just got a great sarcastic sense of humor that keeps him optimistic in literally the most impossible of situations like being stranded on the surface of Mars. Number nine, a book with only words on the cover. Oh man, this is gonna be kind of hard. Um... Let me look. This one. Okay. I picked We Should Hang Out Sometime by Josh Sundquist. I know there's like little speech bubbles, but technically there's no pictures on this cover. It's just the words, We Should Hang Out Sometime. This is like an autobiography about Josh and his bad luck trying to ask a girl out, and it's really funny. It was a very sweet and funny book, and I think this guy's actually a booktuber. But yeah, it's just a lighthearted read about his personal journey, trying to find the one. Question number 10, a book with illustrations in it. So of course I had to pick Illuminae by Jay Kristoff and Amy Kaufman. It actually has a ton of illustrations in it. It. Like this right here is actually a spaceship and the entire drawing is actually made up of words from the book Also this beautiful black and white image of a planet and the galaxy behind it Number 11 a book with gold lettering this one I picked the thousandth floor by a Catherine McGee It has beautiful like golden cursive on it. its cover is just such an aesthetic I love it number 12 a diary and I can't tell if this is like an actual diary or if this is like a book that has like a journal in it I don't know so I went with to all the boys I loved before by Jenny Han these are technically letters but I I guess I'll cheat a little bit. They're personal letters that Lara Jean never meant for anyone to see, so I guess it kind of counts as like a diary. She was writing about her feelings. I don't know, I'm sort of BSing this one. Number 13, a book with a common name. Well, <laughs> maybe, maybe I can go with this one. Turtles All the Way Down by John Green. I don't know. I was thinking John Doe, so John, John Green. I guess Green's not really a common last name, but John is a pretty common name. Number 14, a book with a close-up on the cover. Cinder by Marissa Meyer with a close-up of the cyborg foot and the red like ruby slipper right here. It's kind of a close-up. A lot of books have close-ups on them. I was just trying to find like which one really demonstrated that it had a close-up. Number 15, a hardcover without a dust jacket. Like most of my hardcovers have dust jackets. Like all of them have dust jackets. For this one I went with Grimm's Fairy Tales because this is a leather-bound hardcover and it doesn't have a dust jacket. This is the actual book cover right here. It's a beautiful edition from Barnes & Noble and 
I love the back of it. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. It's got gold pages. Oh my gosh. I love this book. It's so pretty and I love all the stories in it. 16, a teal or turquoise book. Oh, I think maybe would this one work? Siege and Storm by Lee Bardugo as well. It does have a turquoise spine and the, on the cover here the dragon is sort of turquoise. Number 17, a book with stars on it. Oh, that one's easy. How about... These Broken Stars by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner. It has tons of stars in the background. I think this might be the Pleiades constellation, but I have no idea. It also kind of looks like my end screen. If you turn it like this way, kind of it kind of makes my, my outro screen. Number 18, a non-YA book. A non-YA book, well that's pretty easy. Let's go with Star Wars FAQ. This is just like a trivia book about the movies Star Wars, of course, not really fiction. So I guess that'll count as the non-YA book. So that was the bookshelf scavenger hunt. I hope you guys enjoyed. I thought this was something fun to do to refresh my channel because I've just been feeling so dry lately on the ideas. Please leave a like as always and subscribe if you're new here. And I'll see you guys really soon in my next video. Bye!